Red Dot Games brings you Playway. <laughs> I've never done that before. Okay, as you can see by the title on the screen, it's a uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2014 with me, Stucco Gloss. How are you? Uh, this is uh, yeah, a little bit out of my depth. <laughs> I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> I don't pretend to be, and this is going to be embarrassing. Okay, so we're going to uh, begin. We're going to jump in. Um, okay, we have to make a profile. Okay, uh, of course, I'm going to be Stocko Gloss, um, the one and only. Enter. Let's go. Uh, save. Play. Right, we're going to go career. Yeah. See, I don't know about cars. You know, like... Um, you know, when you watch uh, sort of, uh, is it too fast, too furious? And you know, I love the idea of the cars and uh, really fast cars. I'm a bit of a, if I had to choose, I, I'm a bit of a turbo man instead of a, um, you know, a, what do they call them? A straight six? I, I, I don't know. You know, like the American muscle cars. I quite, quite like my uh, sort of Japanese turbo cars. Anyway, we'll get more into cars and talk about manly stuff in a minute. Right, welcome to the Car Mechanic Simulator 2014 in this tutorial and the basics of gameplay. You're in the f you're in the first garage. It's the most basic garage in the game, but uh, as your career progresses, you'll learn more professional garages, the diagnostic path, and chip tuning. Cool. Uh, let's start the basics. To walk around, walk to the radio in the opposite corner of the garage and turn it on. So, wazd, um, and then you click the radio with the left mouse key. Cool. Whoa, that is sensitive. Uh, can I change the sensitivity of my... Uh, oh, I could do it actually on my mouse. Hang on. A uh, bit more. Oh, That's as low as it go. Okay. Alright, so we've got to walk in the corner. Ah, there's a radio. Boom. Switch. When you're close enough to perform an action in the game, an icon description... Oh, that's gone really. <laughs> um... Then we can uh, press the action key to use it. Let's try the opposite car lifter. Okay, so go to the car lifter. Whoa. Okay, that's going to take a bit, <laughs> a bit of getting used to. Click. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, this concludes our basic tutorial. Why? The mouse is, is so weird because like, the resolution on it is massive now. Okay, um, it's time to start the job. Oh, gosh. Um. I've got to save in real life if your car does break down. Uh, I'm probably the last person to be uh, looking at this. Okay, so replace the front brake pads. Check front brake pads. Okay. Your first customers are right. The job description of the goal is listed in the repair order. You can also turn here for the quick menu and the right mouse button after completing all the tasks. You can finish the job by stamping the form. Can I just stamp it and say I've done it? <laughs> no. That wouldn't be fair. Okay, I know where the brakes are. They're near the wheel. <laughs> You have to replace the brake pads, go to the PC and buy four new brake pads from the car pot shop. Okay, I could do that. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to be doing that every single time, I guarantee it. Okay, let's go to the computer. Ooh, it's like a proper proper PC. Oh, what we got here? we got Windows Trusted thingy. we got... Is that DOS? Uh, we got the uh, the sound. Is that the internet? That's a, a hard drive symbol. We're wireless. We've got four, four bars or three bars. Uh, someone's tweeted us, or so got a message, and uh, no idea what JPS stands for. Okay, so we can get a bank loan straight away. Um, let's go to the car parts shop. Now we need brake pads, uh, brake caliper. Ah, right. Okay, so we need four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay. Right. Go to the first wheel to start disassembling. Disassemble. Johnny Five is alive, and I'm doing the um, robot muse right now. I don't, you can't see it. Uh, remove wheel by unscrewing the bolts, and then remove the brake caliper to access the brake pads. Cool. It's very technical. <laughs> oh, I can use the uh, up down left right keys. Cool. Right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm feeling a bit seasick as well. Uh, go back a bit. Uh, there. Okay, you can perform three main actions in the mechanic mode. Disassemble. Johnny okay, I'll stop. Uh, assembling parts. Um, examining parts. Okay, so we need to examine, disassemble, and assemble. Okay, let's stay in the disassemble mode. We have to take out the old brake pad. Start by unbolting the wheel. Easy. 
Ooh. I've never taken the folks off a wheel before. I've never changed a car tire. Yeah. Uh, let's carry on and. Oh. That's a brake caliper. Okay, now we need to inspect this. So. We examine the, the actual wheel, don't we? Condition 61%, that one's done. And then we need to change this thing, don't we? Yeah. And then get rid of that one. And then assemble. Yeah! Oh, I got this. I got this. So we assemble. Yeah. We're going to assemble the back one first. Uh, that one, please. Okay, one more thing. Remember that the customer's actually to check his brake disc. I've done that already because I'm the boss. Um, put the brake caliper on. Oh yeah, we've got to screw them in. Brilliant. Um, did I turn that radio off? Okay, let's put the tire back on. I think the, uh, the, the radio is a bit quiet. We might have to turn the radio up. Okay. Now what do I do? Uh, can I move? No. Oh, you can go right through the car. Cool. I, I, how do I? I want to move away from the tire. Uh, can I? Nope. I zoom. Oh, I'm in disassemble mode. Uh, I don't switch on to the next tire. <laughs> okay. This way. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not taking that tire. I want to take the other tire off. Can I go to that tire? Ready? I don't want to see the other tire. Move away from this tire. Ah, escape. Okay. We're getting the hang of this. Well, we're not, but let's pretend. Uh, disassemble. Johnny Five. Ah, oh, keep saying Johnny Five. Let's get rid of these. I don't know why this is all greyed out. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Take that tire off. Oh, we got a jack. All right, Jack. Right, let's examine this part. Um, I'd like to examine that, please. Condition sixty percent. Okay. So, go back into disassemble. Disassemble. There we go. I hope um, they're all as easy as this. <laughs> Could have been it, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now we need to assemble. Do the rear one first. And the front one first. There we go. Uh, no. That's it. That. Oh. That one. Brake caliper. You know that there's a program, right? Uh, I think it's it's a, it's an English program, uh, or UK program. Yeah, got to be PC. Um, it's about a guy who buys and sells used cars, right? And he's got this really really good mechanic um, with him. And uh, oh, congratulations! You repaired your first car. There are many more to come. If you want to finish the job, all right, cool. So, our first job done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so he's got this really, really, really good uh, uh, mechanic. He's got all the machines, all the parts, and, and he does all the work himself. You know, so he buys a used car for like, um, oh gosh, repair the air filter, oil filter, and fuel filter. Uh, I last had my filters checked over a year ago. Replace them all again, please. Okay, as you ask, is so nice. Um, yeah, so uh, basically, he buys say buys his car for say two thousand pounds, 
Um, and then he does like about ten days worth of work on it. You know, he's like re welds everything and, and, and you know, puts new windows in and replace all the parts in the engine, restrips the engine, rebuilds the engine and all that, and then sells it for like two thousand two hundred and then he's like, Yeah, we made a profit of two hundred quid. And you can't have thinking to yourself, Well you you never because if any normal person would uh, spend that sort of money doing that to their car, they'd need to sell it for about five and a half grand. But um, all right, what's that? That's a starter. Air filter. I'm presuming it's going to be in this baby here. So let's uh, disassemble. Um, I want to take it off. No parts to assemble. Well, I just want to remove it. How do I re remove? Oh, have I got to do that bit first? I suppose I can remove that. Can I? Re yeah, I can. Ah, okay. So you got to take that off first. No problem. I bet there's a lot of um sort of mechanics watching this this uh, video thinking god I wish it was that easy in real life I, I, I get it it isn't going to be this easy in real life um, oh we need to go buy it don't we Hang on, let's go buy an air filter fuel filter and an oil filter whoa easy uh, yeah we're still, we're still connected to the internet that's good oh, air filter yes please Uh Wow, there is a lot of parts. Um Oh, oil filter. Yep. Now I don't even know what a fuel filter looks like, if I've gotta be brutally honest. Oh great, we can't buy a fuel filter. Have I missed it? I probably have. Uh let's Go slowly. You're like shaking me. Go. Stop. Go. Oh, there's a fuel filter. Oil filter cap. Ida pretty. Oh my gosh. Gearboxes. Oh, fuel filter. So it kind of looks like that. Right. Okay. So we got all our filters. As we exit this. There we go. So. Brr. Alright, let's take that filter off. Go into assemble. Um, put the hundred percent one in, and then we might as well assemble that as well. Actually, it's quite therapeutic this game. Um, you know, it, it, it feels like you you're doing a good job. <laughs> Even though, you know, somebody come up to me and ask me to uh, to change the fuel filter, oil filter. I can't see that one. There we go. I'll probably be lost, and I wouldn't be able to do it. Right, that one's done. Okay. So, oil filter, I'm presuming, is going to be... Is that the... F yeah, that's the oil filter cap, isn't it? So, let's take that off. And then there's the filter. Wow! I only knew that was there because of the oil filter cap. Um, let's put something out. Okay. 100%. Oil filter cap. Perfect. Right. Now, this is the difficult bit. The fuel filter. The fuel filter, where would you be? Uh, the fuel tank is at the back of the car, so let's go have a. I might need to raise it up actually, let's raise this thing up. Wrong. See those hydraulic cylinders? See that? Yeah. I, I, I do all the. That's, that's what I do for a living. Um, inspect the undercarriage. There it is! Fuel filter! <laughs> yeah. Uh replace the fuel filter. Job's done. 
All right, let's lower this baby. It's really quiet. Okay, let's, uh, let's stamp our thing. Wrong button. That button. Show repair quote. Yeah, repaired. Done. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Check us out. Okay. Car Mechanics Simulator 2014. You can't beat me. Perform a test drive. Replace all worn out parts. While I am driving on bumpy roads, I can hear a knock in from the front wheels. Check the car and replace any worn parts, please. Alright, we've got to take it for a test drive. We've got a van. Alright, okay. Let's uh, get in and test drive it. Do we go to the doors? Oh, test drive car. Yep, test track. Wow, we've even got our own test track. Not many garages have got a test track, is it? You know. I'm not doing the... I'm not doing the, uh... Oh. Oops. Whoa, 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 I can't see where I'm going. Ow! I'm following the yellow lines. Bumpy. I'm glad this isn't my car. Let me stop. Oh, I've got to do it again, I guess. Oh, look, I've got a checklist. Right, there's the start, isn't it? We come up here, and then we go to the right, right in the corner. Oh gosh! <laughs> Stop. And then, oh, okay, we've got to follow the course. You can't just go right to the end. I think got this little bit in the. Sorry, I'm going to be quiet because I'm trying to concentrate. You know, the, the, these types of games isn't my uh, my forty really. If something wasn't broke before, it's definitely going to be broke now. We're doing seventy miles an hour over all these. Uh... Okay, so this car is mullered. We need to go uh, change some stuff around the front wheels. <coughs> I know there's a, like a linking arm, isn't there, around the front wheels? Maybe it's. Can we expect that? What's that? Car door. Oh, right, you can open the car doors. Okay, let's. Uh, I don't really want to look at the wheel. Can we just look? Yeah, that that thing there. Condition seventy four. All right, that thing. Condition unknown. Suspension arm. Oh, out of tie rod. Eleven. There we go. So that's that's probably gonna be. Right, so the outer toy rod. Can we examine? Yeah. That's 11. That's at 20%. So what's that? That's the sway bar end link left. Alright, so we need to buy a sway bar end link left and a outer toy rod. Okay. Sway bar, something left, and outer toy rod. Uh, let's use. use Parts. Sway bar. Sway bar. Outer. Left. Nope. They've only got right. Okay. I have to buy new. I wonder how much a sway bar costs. Drive axles, drive shaft, exhaust, gearboxes. Way bar. Ah, sway bar link left. Yes, and we want a pivot eye thing. What are they called? Um, outer toy rod. That's the one. Okay. So we'll uh, disassemble. Oh, I've got to undo other stuff. I shouldn't. I should be able to disassemble that, shouldn't I? Disassemble. What have I got to take off? I've got to take the wheel off. 
How do I get to these parts? It just looks like I just take. Uh, maybe I need to uh, raise it first. Okay, that would make sense. Okay. Yeah, inspect. So I need to take out. Uh, where are you? There you go. I can't reach it. I've got to take all this off first. Um, I'm going to take the suspension off. The wheel off, I guess. Oh, that's a big job, isn't it? How much are, I getting, how much are they paying me for this? $300. I spent 150 already. take stuff out. Uh, I can't. No. Okay. So we have to go. We have to lower it. They don't teach you this at mechanic school. Well, they probably do, but I didn't go. Uh, let's pop the hood. Have I got it? And do the. Uh, Okay, so I can't reach it from there. So I, th I think I've got to take the wheel off. Oh, let's just take it off. There we go. Now, can I take this off? Yeah. Okay. So you have to take the wheel off first. No problem. So what was that called? That was called an arm thing, wasn't it? So we can replace that. Yes, please. I think this game gives you the confidence that you think you can go out and, you know, uh, fix your own car. Which is really weird, because my wife would never trust me fixing our car. Um... Okay, that one's done. We'll put the tire back on. Make sure they're all nice and tight so the wheels don't come off. That'll be uh, bad, bad news. Alright, the other side. I wonder if it's the same. I hope so. We must have taken this off, haven't we? I've got to buy the bits, I know. I just want to double check. Uh, oh, that's green. That's green. Is it green? I don't know. Let's have a look. Examine mode. Oh, that one's 73%. Uh, that's okay. So it's just this bar here. So it's a sway bar end link right. I think I've seen one of them in the used part. So I'm going to go grab one of them. Because I need money. Uh, I'm a bit tight when it comes to uh, parts. Sway bar in right. There we go. 37 bucks. Done. Let's inspect that wheel. Okay. Let's go take this off. Why can't I take it off? There we go. It's a little bit awkward this menu. Like, I think it takes a little, little while to get used to, but. Uh, to be honest, if I can do it, anybody can do it. 80%, that's not bad. And we saved ourselves a bit of money. Perfect. Alright, let's put the tire back on. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can stump our thing. Repaired. Yeah! Yeah. Okay, so that's like three jobs we've done there. So what I might do is I might leave this uh leave this next job for the next episode. So perform an OBD scan. I have no idea what an OBD is. I thought it's something you be you, you get when um, you know the Queen knights you or something. Um, oh, on board computer. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the Queen. <laughs> 
I don't know it's called no BE, but you know. Okay, can you scan the onboard computer? I need to know if there's any electrical parts or reporting errors. So we're going to wait and do that one in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Stocker Gloss. Take care and ciao for now. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony.